Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we celebrate the 59th Charter Day of Loak City. So exactly 59 years ago, Loak City went from being a municipality to being a city. And here we are today, exactly 59 years later and the exact date later, okay? I just want to take this opportunity to say to our Kailians that um, I am the 11th Amati Shudad of Lawak. So there have been 10 mayors before me. And Shempre, there will be mayors after me. And so this is what I always want people to understand is that anything that has a beginning There's continuity, and when you have a beginning and you have continuity, you have evolution. So, Lawag has evolved over these 59 years. And I feel the pressure on me to ensure that Lawag continues to evolve, and that it evolves in a progressive uh, and enlightened manner that it develops we need to develop lawag more this is why you can see that there's maraming aktividad dito sa lawag you all can see that sm is being built and that sm will officially open and they've said this maraming beses that it will officially open on october 25 of this year now we have our four p's in talingaan which is going very well now. Uh, hopefully, it will be able to finish its, its first phase in August. You all know that the diocese is also preparing to have major, major renovation. Okay, and not just here in the Centro, not just uh, around St. William's Cathedral, but they will also be developing the church in Mangato, they will also be developing the church in Butong, okay? So, and there is other development which I'm not at liberty to say now. Once we've worked everything out, I will announce this to you. So in other words, there are people who are really coming who want to invest in Lawag, okay? And that is very good. So what does investment mean? Investment means that more people will live here, so our population will increase. There will be more jobs for Okailian, okay? But please also remember this. I'm an environmentalist, okay? So even if we have development, at the same time, we must preserve our natural habitat. And that's why the forest in Buxhill North and Buxhill South will be protected. Okay, please understand this. And I know that there are other plans even to build a bypass. Bagong Bypass Apoha that will go through portions of Lawag, which I will not talk about at this point, okay? So, in other words, just let me say that there's maraming development, and that is the Amati Shudad. I must ensure, okay, uh, that the development is done correctly. I repeat again, we must also protect our natural environment, okay? I believe in biodiversity, okay? And that's why there are certain areas here that will be protected and development will not be allowed to take place there, okay? But I will explain this to you in the future. Now, you know, you all know that I'm working so hard with the agricultural sector. You all know that we're taking care of our Manalon and our Mangala, and that we'll be doing many things in the agricultural sector in the future. And I want to take this opportunity now to thank Sheila Marie Opela. She's doing a very, very good job when it comes to agriculture. Now, also, you know that we've had a problem with LCGH. You know that we had a problem in fulfilling our responsibility of paying the salaries of the empleado. That's been taken care of. Our empleado now at LCGH is being paid on time. 
Okay, so that's very important. And because of that, there are many former employees who are now trying to come back into LCGH. So, medyo mahaba yung pila. There are so many people that want to come back to work in LCGH. And we're now, uh, because of also having the um, CT scan, the, uh, uh, the AI 64-bit CT scan that was given to us by the Department of Health through the initiative of Congressman Sandro Marcos, we are now beginning to earn money and we're beginning to earn money relatively well. Okay, so things are picking up. So, all in all, in many different sectors, in many different aspects of LOAG, we're beginning to move forward, okay? Uh, I'm ready to take questions from you. I know you're going to ask me some, some funny and some serious questions. Uh, let me see whether I'll answer them or not. Please understand, it's not that I'm trying to control the media, it's just that some things are in a work stage, okay? So I can't really preempt myself and preempt what's happening, okay? So some of your questions I might, and I might not answer, I might just divert Muna. Anyway, the floor is open. Sir, what, what, is, your, what, is, your, what is your general vision for uh, Lawag City? My general vision for Loag is to have a progressive city, a city that had, you know, the population of Loag has been relatively stagnant, but now the population is beginning to pick up. And you know, with SM, there are people that are going to, SM is going to give work to maraming tao, okay? Uh, and that will also attract people from other regions, attract people from our adjacent provinces who will come here for work. This will build up the population, which I believe we need to do. But my vision of Lawag is that it's a progressive city, but it's a beautiful city. And it's a city, please understand this. The future of the world is global warming. I repeat, the future of the world is global warming. You have seen how unpredictable the weather patterns are becoming, buong mundo, and also here in Ilocos Norte and Lawag City, okay? Um, this is why in the future, Danum, water, might become an issue. And that's why we're already thinking of building some desalinization plants, okay? Because the interior barangays, and I'm referring to uh, Baxil North, Baxil South, those specifically are suffering from a water shortage, okay? so. But anyway, there's some other things that might be done about the dam in Abra that might be bringing water down. But that's, that's further north. That's not so much directed to Lawar, okay? So this is why uh, desalinization plants might be needed in the future because I feel that water can really become a problem, okay? And this is why it is imperative, I repeat, it is imperative that we do not cut down all of our trees. Trees are the lungs of the earth. Trees create oxygen. Trees attract rain, okay? So it's important that certain areas be designated as um, uh, biodiversity areas where the trees are not cut down so that the future of Loab, please understand, the world is really going to have problems. And that's why Sana Lawag can be, can be in a vacuum. Lawag can be protected by having proper biodiversity and for us to really take care of the environment. Yes, we want development. Yes, we want to do Marami infrastructure. But at the same time, we must protect our biodiversity. We must protect our forests. And, you know, Lawag is a beautiful place. We'll be concentrating, by the way, there are things uh, that are being planned, which I'm not at liberty to tell you, but I know that in the future, you'll be surprised at what's going to happen. Because there will be some very interesting development that will take place here. But uh, pardon me for not uh, referring to it now. 
So my vision of Lawag is that it's a progressive city, that more people come and live here, that we generate uh, more jobs, we have more income, the taxes of Lawak City will rise. The more money we have, the more we can do for the city. Okay, so that's my vision. Sir, aside from SM, meron ba daw isang mall na paparating sa Lawak? So is it true? Yeah, look, there are plans in the works. Some of them are feasible, some of them are not. Okay, and I'm not, as I said to you before, I'm not at liberty to talk about this. I do not want to preempt what's going to happen. Okay? Mayor, tensions are rising in the West Philippine Sea, and we have four sisterhood, partner, uh, sisterhood agreements with, uh, uh, with China. Uh, with Chinese cities. With, with, the, with the Chinese. And the Chinese province. Yes, Chinese provinces. So basically, do we see any decline in investments here in Lawag City? or has this affected Lamag City in any way? Okay, please let's just let me say this. And I said this when we unveiled the Gabusor Watchtower. I don't know if you were there. The Gabusor Watchtower was originally built in order to, um, it was built high enough that there was that the, the people there could see the Patsan River and could see the ocean. And there was a purpose for that, because of pirates. I, I feel that the Philippines has to be careful because there are modern day pirates. Sorry. Uh. Please understand this, and I'm going to say this now publicly. I've had a long relationship with the People's Republic of China. When the incumbent president, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos was the governor, we went to Shandong province and created a sisterhood agreement between the province of Ilocos Norte and Shandong province. Please understand that when I was training athletes before, during Gintong Ale and later as a national training director of Team Philippines in 2005, we brought athletes to train in China. Okay, now it's the Amati Shudad. You all know that I signed a sisterhood agreement with Huangshan City. I have many Chinese friends. We all know that there are many people of Chinese descent to the Filipinas. Okay, 